prey all the way there. Let's have a closer look. Now, we had a very long debate about a very similar looking bird yesterday, but my money is again on Wahlberg's eagles. <laughs> but uh, yes, so we get all different species of birds in this area, and some of the ones that we get like this one, they actually migrate. So they don't spend the whole year here, they go all the way to Northern Africa, Europe, and then they come back all the way down in South Africa to have their chicks and then go all the way back. And normally when they come back, we know that the rains are starting because there's going to be a lot of food, a lot of insects, little things flying around all the way for them. Now, I want to try and get them, show them to you in the book, because unfortunately the weather is not the prettiest today, and it's perhaps not helping us all that much. Now, this particular one that we are looking at, now all I can think about is a booted eagle. <laughs> this particular one that we are looking at, it's called the Wild Birds Eagle, and like I said, normally found in pairs, so there's two of them that are always together. And once they've established their nest and where they want to have their nest, then they come, or they're reported to come every year back to their nest, every year back to their house. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, this is the one that I think that we are looking at. It's called the Wahlberg's Eagle. Very beautiful, and this is actually, one of them seems to be quite pale in color, quite white. So they are normally of this color over here on the top this one over here so you see it's actually quite of a brownish color but they can morph into different colors and some of them are actually white so this is a very nice find because this is a very unusual bird to see so yay brownie points for us for some finding something rare